Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the speckle and rabbit and of course we will be talk about AI so especially we will talk about the GPT chat. So what we're gonna do today? Here is the my project, this you know this project, this is a sample project and we wanna get some data on let's say our program and transfer it to the web page. For example we wanna calculate how many elements changing step by step. I mean the uh, each iteration. So this is what we will do today. Uh, of course, this is tutorial mostly for people who don't know how to code at all. I want to show you like uh, how you can use the AI to, for example, help for yourself. So if you are ready for this tutorial, let's get start. First of all, for this tutorial, you need to install the speckle, of course, because this is uh, will be, let's say, our database. Here, my speckle already installed it. You can see it here. Let's use the Revit connection. I already have the, the stream, it's called the sample project. And we want to create, for example, the new branch. Or I already have here the architecture. You can create the new one. I will use this one. It's okay for me. I will use the architecture. And let's say I want to save it like uh, this day today. Or let's, yeah, let's save it like today it's 7 October, 7, 10, 23. And let's send all the data what you want. For example, I will send everything, but you can send especially some category. Or you can, for example, choose the some view which is you want to send to the speckle let me i will send to the speckle and when it will finish we will continue here we are it's already done let's go back to the our web page here the our web page and as you can see here the 7 10 23 which is we already uploaded don't forget when you're creating your stream your stream should be a public one if it's not public you should use the, the some special key which is called token so we not will use any token we want to get all the data which is you can use in public anyway anyway so here is as you can see here is the my model let's wait till it end okay it's here as you can see and now we want get all this data to the to the our python script back and uh, some visualize let's say by simple web page so we already have the data and uh, we already can start to create our python script for this tutorial i will be use pycharm this is actually for free the community edition you can use even the notepad if you want you can install the id like we here will be write our python script uh, what we need we already have Python script and we need of course the GPT chat of course we also need some information from the uh, introduction from the speckle documentation and uh, go here I will leave all these pages below this video you can easily go below the video and you will find the links and here first of all you need install of course the speckle library I already install it but if you don't know how I will show you one more time go back uh, to your ID let's say and uh, here or maybe not here I don't know which is ID you will use if you're using the pie charm it will be here the terminal copy paste here the mm, pip install the speckle pie and let's say enter your ID will automatically install library okay we already install our library here you will find the magic the tab mm, it's tutorial simple dashboard let's go there and we need actually only this sample it will help us to receive data so as you can see here, the receive object from the server. So this is actually what we need. Let's go back to the GPT chat. Here I already my text, uh, what I want. You just can copy it, you can rewrite it or some add what you want. But also I wanna include there some sample. So this is my sample, as you can see. I will uh, paste here and let's do the enter. Now we need only the one thing, just wait till the GPT chat will finish uh, their work. So here it's already all finished. Let me I will copy it. Here just I'm explaining. We don't need it. We're more clever than uh, GPT chat thinking. Let me go back to the pie charm and I will paste here our code. As you can see here, the, we have the, some small problems. It's need the host, it's need the stream ID and the comment ID and the stream ID. We don't have it at all. What we can do? We let me I will delete JSON. We don't need it. We will write the host. Let's write here the example code. After that, we will write the stream mm -hmm. and some sample code, as you can see, and commit. 
and again some sample code. Actually, let me I will delete all these things. I no need this explaining because why? Because we have each of them unique one, and I will show you where is that. So where you can get the stream ID? You should go back to the your web page. After that, go back to the your model, and you need go till the here the sample project. Go to the simple sample project. I mean, where is your stream? Stream home, stream, and this one actually your stream ID. Let's copy it, go back here, write it, and don't forget, make it the string. So we need the brackets. Let me I'll do like that. And after that, we need the comment ID, a commit ID, I mean. Uh, let me go back now again, and here the architecture we have, and here the Actually, not here because it's our not comment. It's our branch, but it's branch here the commit. Let me copy the commits, and uh, you can see it here the commits. This one. So done. Let me I will place it here, like two brackets and commit here. Actually done with everything, all the information here, and let's try it. the current file. Let's run it. What we will get actually now it takes time. It's already nice because if it takes time, it means the we trying to get some information from the web, but we get the problem. And as you can see, we get the problem with the get. Uh, let me I will copy that. And as I said, we it it's not will be working from the mm, box for sure. Let me I will place it here, and it's not helping us at all. Here actually not. We should use the another. Uh, type of the function we should use the commit. Let's say, let's I will delete this part, and I will just use like this the commit and create it, and I will delete this path, and we will try it. Is it am, am I right or not? If I will be right, we will get here the clear code. If uh, not, we will try ask the GPT chat one more time. Let's try it. I hope it will be work right now. Let me go back here, let's copy here, and let's write it. And let's see what we will get in this term. I hope it will be something uh, near to what we want. And <laughs> it's really nice, but we get what we want. Uh, here the upload date, it's correct. Revit model, name of the commit, let me will check. Actually, it's more my mistake because if we are using this uh, page, actually this is a this is a message. It's not the name, but uh, it's a, a bit strange thing because we, when you going here, you see it's like a name. Actually, this is a message. So we should now write uh, another thing uh, to the Python. Actually, it's a commit message uh, for the name use commit anyway so here is the our code and as you can see here is the new new updated code let me will copy it and now it's for sure should be working let me go back and let copy paste here mm, let's start it mm, just few seconds and we will get some result i hope so where is our result and our result here yes as i think this is not name actually this is a message but it's okay we are using like a message and we can see what we need so uh, this result it's okay nice but it's not usable because you can see only in your uh, python script but what if you want to create the web page so uh, this is actually we also can do by the GPT chat and I think GPT chat this thing doing really better than working with the some spe specific API. Now I want actually uh, some, as I said, uh, the web page. Let me will write like this. Uh, actually, I already wrote here the like I need HTML, uh, HTML the web page, and I wanted the bootstrap to make it it's really nice look, look nice. I mean. Uh, to use it uh, from the web page. So here is the writing some the web page. Actually, I wrote the mistake. Uh, let me I will write not like this. I will say it using the code update. I no wanna uh, another web page. I wanna everything in one script. Yeah. Of course, I uh, we understand. Uh, like I understand, I need. I can create the other file. It's not a big problem. It's okay. So yeah, it's starting. It's starting Python script. Let's see. Uh huh. We will use the flask, 
Actually, it's already finished, and as you can see, again two files. Actually, what I will write here: uh, this one and this one. Yeah, I wanna. I strictly wanna make one file. Okay, let me I'll do like this. Let's wait it. Okay, it's done, and they did what I want actually. Okay, let's copy it uh, here. Be clear, be uh, just. Um, uh, make sure you're not deleting this data about our host and blah blah blah. So I will do like this. I will just copy it here. Everything. Let's go here. I will just uh, use the use the Control X and Control V here, and I will delete all this library here. So now it's everything clear. Let me I will start and try it. Let me start it. So, ah, yeah, don't forget one more thing. It's actually GPT chat don't talk, not saying anything about it, but you should know. We will use the flask, as you can see it here. You should install it if you don't have it. So, how to install it? You already know pip install flask. So, if you not if you cannot install it, go to the flask, check in the information there, and tell everything writing about that. But uh, if you don't have it, just use this simple command, and everything will be work. Uh, once you will start it, you will start the server, local the server, as you can see here. You just go to this page, and you will get your web page, as you can see here. Just use the button refresh. Which is, uh, I say it to the um, my script to use uh, to update data. And as you can see, the data was updated. So, yes, now you can create your database where you will save all your, for example, the commits, data, or something like that. I just want to show you, like, yes, of course, the, uh, the, our uh, script it's not ideal yes it's it's really strange script actually but without knowledge you can create something which is will be work for the simple uh, your goal actually as you can see i created like simple idea and for the simple idea the uh, GPT chat can help you really at all. For example, uh, we using really not uh, so popu uh, popular uh, the library which is the speckle library. Yeah, uh, we know for example the speckle library as you can see how it, it really hard to working and I mean how how really hard working our GPT chat. But if you want to create for example the some web page it's creating like like one second and they really creating without any big problem as you can see even the everything uh, on their place so it's really awesome if you are interested for more tutorials like this and more complex and more and more i will try to use the ai rabbits some beam technologies like a speckle to achieve your uh, ideas and of course you can also leave some your ideas for the future videos below this video for this tutorial thank you guys it's finished see you next time